Hey, George Antill here with Satellite Phone Store out of San Diego, California. Hey, we're going to show you something that these guys have come up with uh, in the satellite technology area. They've been able to put this into a box that you can carry to the scene, whether you use it at a fire, a government, whatever you're using it for, off-road racing. Uh, they've taken this and really made it a lot easier for you guys to get around and uh, set up and get your internet wherever in the world. And uh, like I said, I was a fireman for 33 years and back when I was in hazmat, my last 10 years of my career, we could have used something like this to set up out when we were on a call. And uh, it's very important when you're on hazmat to have the internet service so that you can check up on some of these uh, hazardous materials that we ran across during my years on the fire department. So stick around and we're gonna show you this device and how to set it up right out in wherever you are. You can see uh, this comes in a Pelican case uh, with a handle with the wheels on the bottom. And uh, the whole satellite dish, the modem, all the equipment is inside this Pelican. So for flying, you know, if you're going to fly somewhere, it's easy to, you know, put on the airlines and uh, you guys can uh, ship it wherever you want. But uh, we're going to open it up and uh, give you a showdown on what's inside this Pelican case, so stick around. All right, so you can see uh, we just opened the uh, Pelican case. Um, we'll kind of go over some of the things in here. Here is uh, the satellite dish. We're gonna pull the dish out right here and we'll show you that in a minute. We'll set that aside. We, uh, we have the modem up here. This is your modem. We'll talk about the modem in a little bit show you how to put the codes in and that's your modem from Viasat your Sunbeam 2 Pro so we'll show you all about that we'll put that out here all right inside your charging cable right here for that modem now these are all your uh, beam codes so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that later on um, and how to use these. You know, the, this is the map of the United States. You can see all the areas where you are. These are the areas that are covered by Viasat. So you'll, you'll augmentation B map. Uh, here is Viasat 1, their B map. You can see all the areas back east here, here in Florida, Texas, whatever. So you can see here Arizona. Um, all California up the coast, all the way up to Washington. Um, and like I said, we'll explain. These are all in the case, up top behind the modem. Really nice, put away. Um, here is your installation instruction kit. This will show you how to put everything together. Okay? And then we'll get into this one, is your uh, setup for the modem. But like I said, we'll cover all that as we move along. We're just kind of showing you how neat this is put together. Um, this is a cord up here that's used. Um, if you got wind, we'll show you that later. You can wrap that around the uh, tria and put that on a pole and that'll keep the tria from moving around. Right here is the uh, ethernet cable. It's blue. Um, like I said, there, you can use any, any ethernet cable. It comes with, with the unit. Um, and there's a, another cable in there. Don't worry about the other cable right there. And right here, um, just a little paperwork, you don't need to worry about that. Inside here are the wing nut bolts. Uh, they're color-coded red on the ends, and those we'll uh, show you later where those go. Um, over here on the right is spare nuts, bolts, and stuff like that. Right there is a DC charger. Um, if you don't have a, you know, a place to plug in your deal, you can plug that into a cigarette lighter. Right here, the instructions for uh, the tripod, um, just pretty much, you don't really need that, but uh, that's the tripod stuff, all right? Uh, okay, down on the bottom here, this is the tria, and this uh, unit here is what we will mount on um, the long pole. We'll show you about that and how that, that part there slides inside and you put those, uh, we have different bolts for that. We have uh, their wing nut bolts. So that sits on the end of that part that I'm going to pull out right here. Right here is the uh, cable. It's a big cable, a lot of cable. That's your coaxial cable for 
uh, going from the modem to the satellite. Okay, we'll show you how to hook that up later. All right, here is the Big Daddy. This is the main unit. Um, this is what does all everything. And see the little, the aluminum piece up top right there with the black piece, that is gonna slide into the tripod, okay? And uh, um, the dish will mount on this, the trio will mount on this, and uh, we'll be showing you so, that. Uh, so uh, you can see this is the tripod. Um, the tripod is uh, got the three legs. Um, the legs here are folded in, okay? I already put them out. So what you want to do is when you take it out of the box, open it up like I have, pull these first legs out all the way. You, you tighten it up right here. Come around, make sure each leg is out fully. Like I say, this is the first leg, okay? Tighten them up, third leg. It's out, tighten it up, okay? Very important, tighten these legs. Make sure all the others are tight. Go around, tight, 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 tight. All right, set the tripod back down. It has little feet on the ground. Okay, and uh, what you want to do is on the top here, there's a bubble. It's a level bubble, okay? And it's, you know, you get your legs all out. Here we are like that. And there's your bubble. Right now, it shows the bubble in the middle, okay? So we're pretty, um, we're pretty straight there so we know we're level right now okay so there's you can also open these up right here you, you take your leg let it down a little bit pull this out and the leg can extend to right here or even farther but let's go to the first clip right there so let's take every leg open it up and let's go to the first clip okay third leg let's go to this clip right here all right now we set it down if you look we're on the ground and it's it's not level we got to level it with the legs so um, I like um, this position to in this position you would have to take and take your legs and move it around until you get the bubble in the middle. The bubble's right here, it's not in the middle yet. So, okay. See, I took it from up top and brought it down to this level and the bubble is not set, it's, it's way off. So in this case, you would have to um, lower maybe your legs here and move this around the back leg here and move this around until you get this set with the bubble in the middle, okay? You might need a little more of the secondary leg that comes out right here. Put that out a little bit to get your level. You have to get this bubble level to start. So right now we need to come back a little Need a little more. And maybe this leg back a little. And pretty close. We probably a little more of the front one. So we'll bring this second one out a little bit more. And now we're level, we're right on the money, okay? Red nuts right here, and you have two red bolts, wing nuts. And this folds up 
like that, which goes back in the box. So when you pull it out of the box, you extend it like that. You'll feel it click in. And you take your two red bolts, put them in. Screw them down, tight as you can get them. You want everything tight on certain things, so remember. The two wing nuts tight, and this unit is your main unit for setting up. And uh, we'll attach the disc to this and then we'll attach the tria to this. So let's, uh, I want, this is the most important thing to set up. And what we want to do is don't put the disc on it, don't put the tree on it. We're going to set this inside the tripod, okay? All right, so you see I've set this on the tripod, okay? We got the tripod set on zero. We're going to pull this out a second. It's not in yet. Okay, right here you got a black ring around this. There's a spins around, a black ring. And I just noticed something. We want to make sure the nut that tightens up and the wing nut goes on here. Like I said, make sure everything is tight. All right, so make sure this is tight. All right, so this is going to slide inside here. So we want to make sure that this tightens it up. It's loose, it's opened up, ready to go. So you want to take and set this inside your tripod. It'll fit in there. There we are. We're in there, okay? All right. You don't want to tighten it down yet. There's a wing deal. There's a little adjustment. It tightens it up. Don't do that yet. What you want to do, okay, once you set this in here and you know that you're in all the way around and uh, when it's lower to the ground like it is, you know, you're going to have to get down here like me and uh, kind of get up close and personal with this thing. So we're looking down at it and I'm looking around all the way around about the same opening, okay? But I learned the way to do this is go to your app. I got an app. I'll give you the app. It's called Tilt Meter. On if you, I got an iPhone. Go to Tilt Meter. It gives you this green app called Tilt Meter. Perfect deal. This is what you got to have to do all what we're doing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure this whole thing you see it turn. I'm going to lock it down for a second. It rotates 360, okay? Just because you uh, leveled your tripod at zero, this has to be level, okay? So what you want to do is you're going to set this meter up all sides, one on this side, on the back side, the front side, and we're going to move this over a little. You're going to put it on the right side, all four sides, like north, south, east, west, just like that. All right, so right now we're going to go here and it says two degrees. So if I move it back a little, it'll be zero. You want this on zero degrees. You want everything on zero. Now this side here, I'm looking for myself, is one degree. So it needs to be one degree to the right. It's one degree too much this way, okay? You got to have it zero, 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 and zero, okay? This side is about almost zero. We're really close on this side and this side. Um, 
the front and the back is two degrees and uh, two degrees, okay? So what we want to do is, fun when you're older, you might want to have the young guy do this. You're going to tilt it back a little bit and then lock it and check it again. We're still at two. And I notice if I, I'm tilting my tilt meter, if I, if I bring it back a little, then it's two degrees. All right, so in, rather than mess with tilting this unit, adjust it with your legs, okay? So we, we wanna we wanna raise the front up a little because we're leaning forward. So what you would do is put a little more leg in the front, okay? So we'll uh, go up here, take this one because we know we're fully extended on the small one. We'll come out a little bit on this one, kind of raise it up a little, all right? All right, and we go back here and we're going to tight. I'll tell you what, once you put this unit on and it looks like it's straight, tighten that sucker down. Make sure it's down. Then when you rotate it, okay, so we put it out here a little bit and we're at one. We're at one. So we need to still go back just a hair more. So let's take this leg again. Let's give us just a little bit more leg. I mean, if you had to, you could put a spacer underneath the foot if you're off a little. Now we're at zero in the back, zero in the front, and let's rotate our arm. I'm going to talk about this arm later, okay? Where it has to be. Okay, I'm zero on there, and I'm zero. Damn close. I mean, I'm like zero and zero. So right now, we're set all the way around at zero, okay? I'm telling you, this is the tool you need right here, the tilt meter, or any kind of inclimeter. I mean, but I, one thing I like about this one, every, it doesn't matter whether it's this way, this way, whatever way, it shows zero. You, it gives you that zero, okay? This comes in handy later when we move into setup, okay? So uh, right now, this is the main thing. The, the tripod is off the ground about five inches, six inches. Um, I know a couple of the, our engineers and the technicians, um, they like it to be this low. Um, I tried it the other day up here a little higher. It was a little easier to work with. You're not down here on the ground. Um, of course, you young guys, you'd be all right, you know. But uh, right now, it'll work. It, it'll work wherever. I mean, unless you had something blocking in front of you, if you had a 10-foot wall, you want to get this thing high up above that wall. So if you got your plenty of space out in the open desert, there's no problem with it down this low. Plus, it, it balances itself a lot better. Uh, it stays together better. So, all right. The back of it, this thing's folded in half. The back of it, you put it together. There's a clamp here, tighten it down, and the clamp right here, and you clamp that down. There's a clamp up top, okay? Now, up here, this one um, clamps also, okay? So, well, uh, looks like it got bent a little bit, but. Uh, all we got to do is just straighten it out, get that down in the hole, and we'll tighten that one up. Okay, I left, um, the la we used this the other day, I left the wing nuts on 
I would leave the wing nuts on. That's my suggestion because you'll lose your bolts. You're going to lose the bolts or you need to take the bolts with you. But this way it gives you an idea of what goes on there. You know, the bolts, you know, we colored the uh, arm bolt here, but these, uh, just leave them together. That's what I would recommend. All right. All right, you take your disc, you can see the, these are closer together right here, and these are farther apart. You can see on your base, these are closer, these are farther apart. Pretty simple. A rocket science, easy stuff, not rocket science. All right, so you take and put in the holes. You can start with one. Just put the wing nut on a little bit. Then um, reach down here, find the hole, and we'll put this one opposite right there. I do them cross each other. Don't tighten it all the way. Now the upper one is there. And we should have the lower one bolt drop down, which that's why I told you we try to keep them together. And then this one goes in the bottom hole. Put the wing nut. Now you can tighten them all up. Once uh, once you tighten them all up as snug as you can. Everything should be snug. You don't want movements anywhere when we're setting up the satellite dish. Everything has to be no movement. You move it a fraction of an inch and you're going to lose your uh, satellite and that's going to cost you your internet. We'll show you that later. Okay, all four are in, top bolts in. Our other two bolts we put in earlier. So we're going to run around and grab the tria. It's a tria, okay? The beam comes off of this, shoots into that satellite and sends it up to the sky, okay? I, uh, I put these bolts on here, they're, they're in the bag, they're, you know, but I liked putting them on here, that way you know where they go. Now, let me just show you something. You could easily lay this up here and do it. I know guys that have done it, I'm not going to mention. Okay, um, but... It goes inside. If you look here, it, there's a hole, okay, where my finger's going. This slides right inside the hole, and you take your bolt, put it inside, and tighten it up. It's a wing nut, okay? And you put the second bolt in. This is how you, this is how you get... Um, your, you know, once you set your elevation, you rotate this back and forth, and you'll hear a noise, and it'll be, I, I kind of say it's a telephone, kind of weird noise, it's, it'll, this thing will beep, it'll beep, beep, just a standard beep, constant beep. As soon as you hit that area where the satellite is, you'll hear like a, I mean, I'm going to imitate this thing, Kind of a weird, you'll know the noise. Once you get that, you, you kind of go a little farther and it'll go away. Go back and it'll start again. Um, and then you come back to here and you're, keep look, you're looking for that noise. Once you s hear that noise, the telephone, you stop right there. Okay? Now, I'll tell you, just for a little bit of experience, when you set up the first part before we put the disc on and before we put this on. 
you want to make sure the leg is underneath this tria, okay? It supports the tria, okay? I mean, the satellite is not going to fall over the dish and everything. Connect your cable, the satellite cable, your coaxial cable, to the tria, which is right here. And I don't recommend you never put this on when there's power to the modem. You know, when you go to plug this in the modem, I've heard rumors. You know, we don't want anybody electrocuted, okay? So, you want to make sure it's nice and tight. Your other end goes to the modem. Make sure there's no power to the modem. Another thing, this thing, the TRIA, when it's set up and working, I know We've been at so many races and people, I don't think they have a clue what the heck this thing is. But don't let people, you might want to put some cones around. We get people walk right up, stand next to the little kids are looking in it. Because this thing, um, I'm not going to say it's going to happen, but um, if you haven't had kids already, you might never. But you want to stay clear of this because we're talking some, some, uh, a nice beam, you know, okay? So, word to the wise, stay away from the front of this. Keep distance. You know, keep everything kind of, you're going to find out, like, where you set this up. Look around. You might have wires or huge wires in the area. You don't want to be by that. You got trees. You got buildings, all this stuff. A lot of these things, this is not going to go around there. You might find out you've going back and forth, up and down, and then you look over and go, wow, where, where I'm pointing, there's a big old giant tree there. So you want, you're gonna have to move this thing, all right? So let's uh, turn this thing on. So uh, we're back here. Um, here's our ethernet, the blue cable. Just happens to be blue, you can use any ethernet cable. You wanna plug that in to your computer right there. And uh, we'll rock around the back and we'll plug this in to the modem. Okay? And then we're going to take our cable and hook the uh, cable from the satellite TRIA on the TRIA and that screws on the back here. So we're going to show you. Um, how to set this thing up and put in the codes and work all that. What you got to do also, I forgot to tell you earlier, is go to your inner, you know, your Wi-Fi, okay? And you want to turn off your Wi-Fi, okay? I, that's one thing. I didn't have the Wi-Fi, okay? It was, it was on. You want to turn the Wi-Fi off, okay? You're creating your own, okay? This is the page that tells you how to get into the modem. So we'll, uh, we'll show you how to work that step by step. So you want to go to your, uh, up here, we get out of mail, and we just go to, uh, saf go, to, go to Safari or whatever. Go up in the top box, clear that, and what you want to do is type in, if you look on here, it'll tell you 192.168.100.1 slash install. Now, most units, that'll work. Um, I already have it here listed on my favorites. But um, on mine, it doesn't work. So if you find that it doesn't work, um, most of the time it works and it'll pop up. Okay, so let's say it didn't work for you. I found, I go to Viasat, and it pops up, and you put in Viasat modem, Install. This is another way of doing it. Modem install right there. Okay, so if you look, we'll zoom in on that page for you. Zoom in for you. We'll get up to that page a little closer for you. I, I'm 
kind of given you pointers that I've learned. Um, if you can't get it by the 192, but if you look up top, it says 192.168.100.1 install. It's up there. I just don't know why sometimes it doesn't come up. All right, but I put via sat together, separate it, modem, and slash install. And here we are. So what you want to do is you go to your charts like we talked, okay? Um, and don't forget inside all the packet is the installation on how to put all this together. Same thing I just talked about. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to love my video. Not just because I did it, but uh, a lot easier than looking at the pictures, okay? So, a bunch of stuff here that you're going to need some of it, okay? And um, I explained it earlier, but let me explain something to you guys. Okay, you're out there. We talked about, here's Viasat 1, beam map, okay? Now, um, you can see that the different areas, and if you look here, you can see it actually, the angles, you know, 54, 52, 50, 48. Uh, I live in Vegas, it's like 47. So, you know, between the 48 and the 46, 47 is like Vegas. So these are codes. Um, last week um, we worked in Ari near Arizona. We actually were right here in 371, and it's about 51.8, okay? And that's your ele that's your elevation. Okay. So you look on here what beam you want to use. Now, if you're able to use the Viasat 1 satellite, if that's the one you're looking for, then you can use all the codes on here. You can see on Viasat, they go um, up to 358, 371, 365 up there in Washington, 360 in Florida. Um, they're more of the 300s, okay? Um, if you look, if you're in the other beams, you know, your beams, let's say calls for 71, there's the codes for 71, okay? All right? So these are the augmentation beam install keys. There's a whole bunch of pages. There's Viasat 1 for 301 through 332, and then the other ones were the other page. Um, here's 333 Viasat, and everything's here that you need, okay? So let's say we want to go to 371, we're San Diego, okay? We, we, we did that earlier. You're going to see something. I'm going to show you something pretty trick, okay? Right. So 371, um, Viasat 1 we're using. Now, remember this modem here on the bottom of this modem has a bunch of numbers, okay? These are all the numbers you need when they set you up at Viasat, when Eric and the gang rent you this, or you buy one. These are always stored here on the bottom because they have to be plugged in to Viasat so you can get even to work these keys. You plug in these numbers, nothing's gonna work. All right, so since we, we'll see if it remembers it. What happens when you put in the four beam codes, um, it remembers those beam codes, okay? It's kind of cool. So let's see if it remembers. On 371, we put in the BSW4. Once you put in BS, look, it automatically put in the W4. I didn't have to type the W4. It, it remembers it. Then you go to the next code, and it says Q6. So just put in Q. Watch. Q6 WP. It, it already did it. So you don't, when we've, now, 
if the, for the first time, you got to put them in. First, you know, PSW4, then go on to the Q6 WP, then go on to the N3 V7, and then go to the VX8B. So you'll see the next three are N3, and it already popped in. And you want to make sure they're the right numbers. Um, the last four are VX, B, or excuse me, 8B. So V, X, and it already put it in, 8B. Okay, so to, to, to figure out, a, you, you uh, click out, double check them all, all eight, there's 16 of them. Run over here, there's two arrows, a left arrow and a right arrow. Don't hit return like you're used to on your computer to do things. This is not done like that. You hit that right arrow, okay? And you should get this next screen, okay? And we just now heard the noise over there. So I'm gonna walk over and I'm going to uh, let you listen to the beep, okay? Now, you'll be in this box right here. This is your course to fine pointing, okay? This is your signal strength. You can scroll down. Okay. When you're done with this page, you have gotten a single st strength up here in the eights and the nines. The more you can get, the better. Okay. The better the internet speed. Okay. If you're streaming, you want to get, um, to, you know, up upload is streaming and download. You're pulling stuff down from the satellite. Um, you want to get about. You can get like 28 to 30 down and maybe five or six up. You can do a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so the next one, it'll start when we hit that little telephone noise I told you. It, it'll click to this. Well, then we're close. And you can see there's a little diagram of a wrench back here. Because right now here we're just pointing. We're just rotating. Once we get into this section, we're going to start fine-tuning it. And then this one here, once it gets that, it'll get a solid, loud noise. You won't miss it. I'll show you the low one. The loud one will go loud, and you, then you will start fine-tuning it. Okay. And once you're done here, there's an arrow. Every, every one that gets done, it gets checked off with an arrow, a green arrow. Right here, green arrow, you're done. Then you would go down here and click on the right arrow and you go to your internet. Then you would, if you're just using it for internet on a laptop, you just plug it into your laptop like I have. And then you'll have Safari, whatever. Now, a lot of people want to make a, they use an airport um, for Wi-Fi. You plug this in your airport and then you have an airport Wi-Fi system and you can get Wi-Fi off that. Then your other ports, you can plug in an ethernet cable and like what we do is we use the other and run a cable from this from the Wi-Fi direct to our TriCaster for filming okay all right so let's uh, move over and uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, the TRIA so just hang loose we're gonna set up at the TRIA TRIA right there in the camera and uh, the cables hooked as long, once you get that tone, that's when we get started. You know everything's good to go. And like I said before, make sure that the tria arm is over the top of a leg. That'll help support it. Now, the uh, bungee cord that's inside this kit, it's a yellow cord. Probably, I'm not saying every kit has the same color. But right here is this cord. Once you get set up, fine-tuned, get everything dialed, you take this if you want, if it's windy out or maybe you're worried about the wind or anything, you can, you'll see the picture, um, I think in the instructions, you tie this to the leg with this, okay? Just a little helpful device. All right. Uh, we're going to get started with how you set this thing up. You can hear it's... Uh, Still beeping. All right, this is where I told you go get this app. It's a tilt meter. 
and it gives you the the angles you got to have in, or there's inclometer if you have one at the shop inclometer whatever okay here's what you want to do um, you're putting this on this arm right here okay you can see it it's set at 21 degrees okay so what we're going to do here now is we're going to go to another app I'll give you this app also and this app disk lock it's called disk lock okay see right there disk lock okay what you do you can scroll down and find the satellite you're looking for whatever you're you're told you know by the guys hey we're working on a certain satellite you go to that satellite cases some of the cases you use the 111.1 w okay now you can see your azimuth is 173 your elevation is 47 okay that, and this is from your location where you're at you know it's it's GPS right here where we are you know okay um, so what you do is you look at that and you can go from there now what's cool about this one you can um, it tells you so you want this here to be 47 and then when we rotate this thing you want to hit on 173 okay you can do that with a compass too all right here is augmented satellite view do all the degrees you see there north east we move around here there's east so it'll you could lay this as a like a compass or like this and and go 60 75 you're looking for 173 now now the elevation you're looking right there okay you can hold this thing up in the sky and you'll pick up the satellite dish back to um, another app I have and uh, see if we actually need it like I say here's a compass if you want a compass it'll tell you you can lay it flat right here look at the numbers here 64 65 we could turn this to 173 and you would lay this here in line with 173 okay and you're looking 173 but you don't have to do that right then set this thing it asked for 47. Now, on this one, you want to subtract about 24. Okay? So if it asks for 47, you want to go to 23. Okay? So you would lay this on here, set it at 23. That's just to get started. Okay? That's how you get um, your, you know, once you set your elevation. You rotate this back and forth, and you'll hear a noise, and it'll be, I, I kind of say it's a telephone, kind of weird noise. It's, it'll, this thing will beep, it'll beep, beep, just a standard beep, constant beep. As soon as you hit that area where the satellite is, you'll hear like a, I mean, I'm going to imitate this thing, kind of a weird, you'll know the noise. Once you get that, you, you kind of go a little farther and it'll go away go back and it'll start again um, and then you come back to here and you're keep look you're looking for that noise once you s hear that noise the telephone you stop right there okay all right so you see the back of the uh, satellite itself and those are your adjustments um, for fine-tuning no real adjustment on this one um, where you can change your uh, asthma, you know, back and forth. So you, you're, if you're going to do that, you're going to move it by hand, like you saw me moving it around. So what you do is you, you first find that click, try to get that loud beam, and then the, the wing nuts are right there. Um, you uh, adjust those. Um, you pull back on the satellite. You take the top wing nut, I'm going to zoom in here, 
Okay, right there on that wing nut, you would hold the satellite, back that off, and if you wanted to go higher, then, you know, if you needed, if you, you'll try a little higher. So what you do is unscrew that wing nut about three or four turns, but you gotta hold pressure on the satellite. Then the lower nut, lower nut is right there, and uh, behind it, you can't see it because it's turned sideways. And in, in between that bracket on that shaft, you'll um, back, like say you want to check and raise it up a little. It's at 23, but and you think, hey, if I go to 24, maybe it'll work. So you, like I told you, hold the dish, unscrew that top one a little bit, give you some play, and then you pull the satellite dish down to where it stops, and then lock it with the wing nut that's on the right side there, okay? And it's pretty simple. Um, and then you try that, and then you let loose of the satellite dish, and the noise will probably go away, like what you had, and then all of a sudden, um, it'll drop back in, and you, you're looking for that huge, loud, solid pitch. It's loud, and you'll know it. And what you wanna do is lock it down um, on the side right here, is a wing nut on each side that needs, they, those stay a little loose so you can adjust it up and down. Once you get your elevation, you want to tighten those up. And you'll look on the side and you can, might not be able to see it, but they're, they're numbered. Like, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 and all that. So, but remember, when, when it calls for like 47 and you're wondering, well, it's calling for 47, why am I at 23? Well, that arm has got to be subtracted from the 47. Okay, so once you, let's say you just did that and you got it, the solid tone, and if you go up and the tone gets less, you know, like, oh, I, man, it's going backwards here, then go the other way, you know, loosen it back down and go the other way. You're, you're going, what you're trying to do is find that fine medium and, uh, you can, you can make the adjustment and then move it to the left a little or to the right. And w once it's going with the salt, well, the solid noise, there on the bottom, and you turn it to the left, um, you go see look the at picture. your uh, screen um, and see if it went a, from like a 6.05 to window. 8 point something. There you know you're left, moving in the right direction. The very bottom left. Okay. On the bottom, um, you see the picture, um, and there's a like a little square window there to the left, the very bottom left on your uh, compute, on my filming here. And that'll, that's where your meter will start reading up. Uh, to the right, you have those two um, deals and it'll, it'll show you your strength. So once you get, you, you, know, you wanna get up around 10, you know, nine to 10. And then once you get nine to 10, um, that dish right there, will light up and there'll be an arrow check on it. And then you would go down here to the two arrows there and click on the right arrow. And uh, that'll take you to the page um, where you are set up for internet. So you, you know, you, you go to the internet. What I like to do is I, I leave that blue cord plugged in from the modem. You know, we were plugged in over here to the modem and you would take your laptop and click over to uh, Safari and go on Safari and whatever you, then you're waiting for it to pick up Google or whatever your uh, deal is, uh, Yahoo or whatever. And once you get there and you can get it to pop up, it takes a little bit, it takes probably about 10 minutes, okay? And then um, you, you can do what I do is once you get internet, I go to Google and I type in speed test. And you'll p type in speed test and uh, you'll go to Coila or whatever it is, speed test, and you click on that and you can go on there and test your strength and see what you got up and download the part you want. Like I said, mostly your, your uh, Download will be more. Your upload is, you know, anywhere from five to, you know, if you can get ten, that's great. 
again, uh, George Antill here. And uh, like I told you at the start of this, uh, try to give you some helpful hints to uh, better get you uh, internet. And I'm telling you, um, it works. You just gotta be patient. Don't rush into it. Follow the instructions and uh, you'll have internet or whatever device you want to use, you plug that ethernet cable into and that'll give you the internet. So like I said, pretty simple. Uh, once you learn how to do this, uh, time and time and time again, it's uh, very easy. And uh, we want to thank everyone out there and Satellite Phone Store wants to uh, help you out and do what they can. If you need sat phones, they got those and anything else. So uh, this is George Antill and uh, checking out and uh, enjoy you're uh, setting up your satellite dish and uh, pass on the word. We'll see you later. Adios.